Are compressor plugins a scam? Part one. What do you guys think? I'm gonna say maybe. Well, I mean, compression can only be so different. You know what I mean? Compression can only be so different. Like plugins from different companies can only be so different. There's an inconvenient secret that the plugin industry doesn't want you to find out. Just like my previous videos where- I, I don't think it's that nefarious, man. I don't think it's that nef I mean, maybe they don't want you to- I don't think they're like, oh, they, they can't find out that all the plugins are the same. I don't think they sit down behind closed doors and they're like, oh, how can we get them to buy the same plugin again? Like, of course, they are selling the same plugin again, but I don't think they're just like, hey, <laughs> hey, how can we fuck them over today? I don't think it's that deep. You know what I mean? This again and the marketing hype, which misleads you into thinking. Bro, that's like one of my favorite things to do, to be like addressing the allegations or drama videos. And then it's like not even that exactly like it is, but it's like not like it's like, oh, okay, this is this is you, this is you arguing with some idiot. <laughs> The analog modeling compressors sound warmer, faster, but despite the industry's most creative adject- Oh, I'm sure they recycle code between like, uh, you know, from in the same company. Like I'm sure like Waves like uses like stuff from their old compressor for their new compressor. I'm saying, what I'm saying is I don't think Waves and FabFilter and all these other people, all these other brands get behind closed doors and are like, how can we get them to buy the same plugin again? <laughs> you know what I mean? Cause that's kind of the way he presented it in the beginning of the video. And it's like, I don't think it's that premeditated. You know, how is it that fucking bad? It doesn't sound that bad to me. I mean, it doesn't sound amazing, but. There's a disappointing truth that you're not supposed to find out. All compressor plugins do the same thing. As always, I don't expect you just to believe me without any evidence, but that's why this video took. I think there's a collusion in turning a blind eye. Okay, yeah, maybe, yeah, if you want to say that. So long to make, because unlike EQ plugins, you can't. You can definitely say that maybe companies try to present it as if it is like, you know, this new compressor is better or whatever, but I just don't think they collude, I guess. That's what I'm trying to say. I don't think there's any collusion. Take, for example, this crappy looking free JS plugin with no interface, and let's compare it to the premium Shadow Hills mastering analog modeling. Comp oh, no. Oh, no. No, dude. Just like plus it's also just like the gain reduction, right? Like, I mean, I don't think the color I'm not even trying to be on this side of the argument, man. Like, what the fuck? Dude? That's one thing I don't like about this guy's videos. He puts me on the, he has me doing devil's advocate way too much, you know, like because there's like holes in it and shit. Like, okay, so he's just documenting the gain reduction here. Like that has nothing to do with the color, right? And I'm not even one to be like, oh, they have the same color, you know? Like, oh, this one's got a better color. This one's so much better. Color can be measured for frequency response. I know, but I'm saying this, like, this doesn't prove anything. All this proves that you can set compressors the same am i am i wrong uh what about coloration that an emulation can add it's not just gain reduction that's what i'm saying so like my eq video we need a benchmark compressor that we can compare other compressors to so that okay. we can match yeah. everything to this one compressor something like a fab filter pro q of the compressor hmm, what what could it be something like a fab filter pro q oh, oh i can't think of it dude uh fab bro, i can't think of it bro I can't think of it. Ah, uh, dude, what is what is the some mm, pro pro something pro some pro some sort of letter, right? Russian <laughs> world. What is that? Pro QC? No, not even. Oh yeah, not not pro QC. That's close though. I think that's close. Close. In fact, it's actually quite difficult to find a benchmark compressor. Wait, you say pro QC? Wait, he was unironically saying pro QC. The compression world. What is that? Pro QC? Pro. It's pro. Bro, it's Pro-C, <laughs> Pro-Q-C. I searched and I couldn't find anything with the features that I was looking for, especially not something that's free. That annoyed me. So I thought, <laughs> okay. Yeah, I agree. Compression is the most overanalyzed simple tool. Yeah, I have to make my own compressor then. So here it is. Oh my God, dude. <sighs> All right. I ain't gonna lie. That shit's ugly as hell, dude. That shit is ugly as hell. So first up, I'm gonna do a bunch of compressors from Slate, and this is the Distressor plugin. And as you can see, we can get pretty close, almost identical with the AP compressor. This is an example. So this is just measuring gain reduction though. So what the fuck? Weaver, a compressor is not meant for the color, it's the curve we desire. I mean, if that's the case, then you don't need more compressor plugins. I mean, sometimes the color is what people like about certain ones, right? I don't know. I thought that was the case. I guess it's both things, really. You yeah, know, that sounds good. Apparently the scam itself is a scam. All right. What's happening? Uh, I just don't give a shit. I just don't give a shit, man. I don't know. Sometimes I just feel like we're just like way into the woods, man. I just don't care. We're way into the weeds.